Hey guys, it's Charlie here at KC Turbos talking about our new Warlock kits. We've made a couple of videos on this already, but to understand the Warlock kit, first you gotta understand the Retrofit kit. So from 11 to 14, uh, Ford put some pretty problematic turbos on these trucks. Uh, they were very advanced at their time. They were dual ball bearing. They were waste gated and VGT, and they were hit or miss. People would go through five or six turbos in 200,000 miles, and other guys never had issues. But overall, they were known as being very problematic. So guys would do what's called a retrofit kit. In 2015, Ford came out with a new design. It was more reliable, it was bigger, it was journal bearing instead of ball bearing, and it did not have a waste gate on it. So a lot of guys would retrofit a 15 turbo onto an 11 to 14. And so that kit was great. Uh, Ford Racing makes it, you can still get it today. Uh, they're hit or miss on whether they're in stock or not. There's a lot of components on there that you don't have to do. So we came out with our Warlock kit. The Warlock kit has the same benefits as a retrofit kit, but it's cheaper, less parts, and easier to install. That means it can cut a eight to 12 hour install time down to four to six hours of install time with all the exact same benefits of a retrofit kit. Meaning you can run the newer style F250, F350 turbo, or you can upgrade to a Whistler turbo, or or you can upgrade to any other turbo theoretically that's based on the 2017 or 2015 model. Now there were a couple of changes, 15, 16, and 17, which can get a little confusing. So cabin chassis trucks, all 11 to 16 trucks need a retrofit kit or a Warlock kit. On the F250, F350 truck platforms, it's only 11 to 14. So 15, 16 can be confusing because 15, 16, F250 already comes with the better turbo on it. 15, 16 cabin chassis, you still need a Warlock kit or a retrofit kit. 17 and newer, doesn't matter. Cabin chassis, F250, they all got updated to the newest style turbo. Now you can upgrade to larger turbos for the newer cabin chassis, but there's no need for a Warlock kit or a retrofit kit.